Two months ago, Chrysler promised half a million electric vehicles on U.S. roads by 2013. Now that plan seems to be in jeopardy. The carmaker is dismantling its entire electric car division. That's part of a restructuring initiated by its new owner, Fiat. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan follows the transportation industry for us and joins us now. And Lee, let's start with the size and the scope of the division in question here. Well, Tyler, this division is called Envy, and it was a big part of Chrysler's restructuring program. And now, unlike Toyota, Honda, General Motors, and Ford, this division was developing a way to electrify the entire Chrysler fleet, not just focus on one vehicle. Now, they envisioned a day when customers would decide if they wanted an electric drive or an internal combustion drivetrain in the same way you or I might decide if we want leather or cloth seats. But Chrysler's new owners, Italian automaker Fiat, has other ideas. And when they announced new plans for Chrysler, the ambitious electric vehicle program was left on the cutting room floor. It was promised to be the envy of the auto industry. We have our envy vehicles here. These electric cars show what the future is. A special division at Chrysler had been set up. It was a team of engineers dedicated to rushing a range of electric cars to showrooms. It was named Envy for the first four letters in environment. And as recently as this past spring, the company was touting its ambitious strategy to electrify its entire fleet. So at Chrysler, we took a very different approach than, than others. We said, if it's going to be a major part of our portfolio in 2020, we need to start now. There was a sense of urgency to move forward quickly, and we took a very broad-based approach. We weren't looking to create a single EV, to hallmark our company around a single EV. The project was groundbreaking. Under the Envy plan, customers would have been able to buy an electric Chrysler by the year 2010, and the company planned to have a half million battery-powered vehicles on the road by 2013. But now that Italian automaker Fiat is calling the shots, less than 60,000 electric vehicles are promised by the year 2014, and the Envy division has been scrapped with all the electric car projects to be funneled through normal vehicle development. Also scrapped is a $70 million grant from the Department of Energy that Chrysler got this past summer to develop a fleet of hybrid pickups and minivans. Now Tyler Fiat has forecast to have Chrysler at the break-even point by the year 2011 and the company didn't see that happening if it was pouring money into a division that develops vehicles that are not profitable. Tyler, so far no major automaker has ever made a profit selling a hybrid or an electric car. Let's look at the big picture for a moment, Lee. President Obama has said one million plug-in hybrids on U.S. roads by 2015. That's been his date ever since the campaign, essentially. Uh, how much of a dent in that plan in the entire U.S. electric vehicle industry does Chrysler's and uh, ultimately Fiat's decision make in this? Well, as far as electric cars and hybrids go, uh, Chrysler does is the only of the major six automakers that does not even have a have a hybrid car so it's not as if you're taking vehicles off the road where this really does hurt Tyler is with the supply chain that um, they're trying to set up in Indiana Ohio in in Michigan they're trying to set up these uh, battery companies making lithium-ion batteries and uh, develop a, a supply chain so we don't have to buy these batteries from China in Japan in South Korea now what this does is if if Chrysler was, was going to make good on their promise of a half a million ve uh, electric vehicles on the road by 2013, this industry basically lost one-sixth of its customers. Uh, what about the company itself? Uh, Fiat, as you pointed out, is saying arrivederci to the entire division, but this is something Chrysler has been planning for some time. A lot of manpower and man hours have gone in there. You talked to Chrysler today. What's the response so far? Well, the folks in, in Auburn Hills uh, tell me that this it doesn't mean the end of their electric car program. They're actually they're just merging it with Fiat, so they'll actually have the the power of two companies now developing electric cars. They say will actually um, enhance them. It just won't will not be a separate division. So they will they, they claim that they will have more vehicles out there, and Fiat actually will have a an electric uh, delivery truck, an electric truck out um, next year, but it'll be under the Fiat logo, not the Chrysler logo. And let's be clear, Lee, this is not as if Ford or GM, as an entity, canceled its electric vehicle program. This is one of the smaller players in the market so far. Exactly. All right, Lee Patrick Sullivan, thank you very much. Many more details to come, I'm sure.